Howdy gamers, old gamer guy here. Welcome to another Stellaris console edition video. It is the year 2202. The Skrek entity just recently became capable of traveling outside of their home star system. So they have just barely begun to explore the surrounding interstellar space. I still have not met another alien empire just yet. Special project complete. But they did run into a small fleet of ships in the last video and those turned out to be pirates. We got our first tradition point to spend. So I'm taking a look at the various options here. I'm going to have to play more aggressively than I normally would with this empire. So the supremacy tree might be a good idea. The domination tree might be a good idea. Remember that if you finish a tree, you get access to an ascension perk, which are very nice bonuses. The expansion tree might be a good idea. But what I think I'm going to do here early on uh, is possibly make a huge mistake but I'm going to buy into the prosperity tree because adopting this tree um, reduces your mining station build cost and we're going to be building lots of those early on. We found a couple of habitable planets down that way. So I'm thinking I should go ahead and send my construction ship down there to build a frontier outpost and block off that space so other empires can't grab it. Situation log updated. My military ships are scouting in every direction and they have just run into some strange alien objects that are now classified as Delta aliens. And this issues a special project to investigate and research these things. But let's take a look at what we're dealing with here, see if we can get an idea. It's three fleets, and they appear to be crystalline entities. And we ran into these things multiple times in the last game, in the last series. They're not exactly life forms, but they're not inanimate objects either. And they behave in a way uh, that seems hostile. Whether they are doing it consciously or not, they behave in a hostile manner. So my fleet, by default, has a passive stance. And I think if I unpause time, they'll try to fly through this system here and they'll probably be attacked by the crystalline entities. So I'm going to change the fleet stance to evasive. You can see by the fleet power numbers uh, on each fleet that we are numerically outclassed here. So I don't want to take a chance of uh, being destroyed. Evading hostile fleet. And when I unpause time, they automatically retreat. These, these is, uh, this is still my original three military ships, so I don't want to uh, take a chance of getting them destroyed. Those fleet numbers don't mean everything, but uh, I don't want to take that chance, so run away! So I sent my military fleet on a different route. Situation log updated. And before too long, they ran into another strange object near a black hole. And this gave us another special project to investigate. It doesn't appear to be a hostile fleet. It looks like it is another alien space station. I don't think I would personally park a space station by a black hole, but that's really none of my business. 
Our research into the crystalline entities gives us a choice to either destroy them or study them some more, so I'm going to keep studying them. Evading hostile fleet. And our military fleet runs into another hostile fleet over here, and it is a larger fleet of crystalline entities. Unfortunately, this star system also has a habitable planet in it, so if I want to take advantage of that planet, eventually I will have to take care of those crystalline entities. We establish communication with the space station near the black hole, and it is the Curator Sigma Enclave. Just like the other Curator Enclave, they are willing to do business with us, but because we are a devouring swarm, we will not do business with them. We just call them Xeno Scum. Special project complete. Our further study of the crystalline entities gives our ships a special ability to instantly survey a system by spending some energy points. System survey complete. And I should have realized this sooner. I didn't remember this. It's a, it's a fairly basic piece of information, but I forgot all about it. But I sent my construction ship all the way down here to build a frontier outpost. But frontier outposts cost uh, influence. And the farther away they are, the more influence they cost. And I don't have enough to build an outpost here. So instead, I'm going to take a look at these two nearby habitable planets. See which one is the better choice for colonization early on. This one is a size 12. This one is a size 16, so I'll go for this one first. They're both tropical worlds, which is what we like. It's what the Skrek like. We got another tradition point to spend. And this time I'm going to adopt the discovery tree because this will give us reduced cost when building a research station. So... Ideally, we'll be building a lot of mining stations and research stations early on, and so buying into these two trees, Discovery and Prosperity, will give us a break on those things. I hope that's a good idea. I don't really know. <laughs> uh, but Supremacy, Domination, or Expansion probably are what we should focus on, one of those. Uh, the only thing I know for sure is that we don't have to pay any attention to diplomacy because we're a devouring swarm. We do not engage in diplomacy. But it might be a good idea to finish the discovery tree also because uh, you get extra research points that way. So that could be a good idea too. So I'm, I'm going to have to make up my mind before too long. Our science vessel found the remains of an ancient naval base used by the First League. Uh, if you remember, the First League was an ancient federation that collapsed long ago and was comprised of many, many different species. But we have been finding their uh, remains, their ruins, their remnants, their relics, if you will, System survey complete. But I think this is a pretty good spot to go ahead and leave off. We've got some habitable planets relatively close to us. Uh, we won't be able to take advantage of several that are farther away, but hopefully we can get them before another empire gets them. Uh, but for now, we'll leave off here. It's the year 2206. And as always, thanks for watching.